What is up everybody and welcome to the channel. Today on the channel, I found something that uh, on uh, social media that there's talk about boycotting the four wheel drive jamboree off-road 4x4 series truck shows. Is it the end of the, the, the four wheel drive jamboree as we once knew it? Well, let's find out. was coming around on social media and I found this uh, page that they're boycotting the four-wheel drive jamboree series um, because of lack of the monster trucks and tough trucks that's a good point so what I want to do is discuss a little bit about what the show used to be like and what the show was like last year when the new promoters took over it it was once ran by familyevents.com and then the new promoters Bonnier took over the the, the show series so let's just go over a little bit on what the show used to be like 20 some years ago when I was going and I made myself a little bit of notes here as far as what the show used to have um, years ago the show used to have volleyball tournaments a tug-of-war competition for people um, you used to be able to get pics of your ride coming in and out of the show field um, they used to have a town parade, believe it or not, where all the trucks would line up on the fairgrounds and cruise down Main Street in Bloomsburg and have a giant parade for all the spectators and the townspeople could see all the, the nice rides that would attend the show. Uh, monster trucks, tough trucks, mud bogs, burnout competitions, dyno testing, show and shine, monster truck rides, and they even had mud drags where... Um, these trucks would drag through like a, a, a regular drag strip where they would just race through the mud as a, as a competition. And you used to be able to get pictures of your ride on top of a crushed car. Well, since then to now, and I did go last year to the show, a lot of it has changed over the years. There used to be a lot more vendors back then than there are now. So over the years, things have changed. And what has changed? Well, there used to be a bikini contest. Last year was the first time the new promoters took over the show. And there's no bikini contest. Last year, they did have monster trucks and, we're gonna, and tough trucks. But we're going to get to that in a bit here. Um, we do have to remember, due to last year's show, that the pandemic was going on. So the show was on, off, on, off. And nobody really knew what was going on with the show, but I like to thank Bonnier for one of the few events that went and pushed and did have the show, and it was an outstanding turnout. Um, so kudos to you guys for for doing so. Or last year they introduced mega trucks into the, their lineup of uh, uh, events that you could go and see. Which first time me seeing mega trucks out there like that, that was pretty cool. Um, so the controversy was on social media that the, the new promoters dropped the tough trucks and the monster trucks from the competition lineup, which I was following in a, around a little bit, seeing what the responses were, seeing what people were saying. And the promoters came back, said that, uh, because of, it might've been because of liability, um, in Bloomsburg, they put a new dirt track in around the, the field there for the sprint cars. So it might be because they didn't want the monster trucks riding on the dirt track. But anybody that's been to that show knows that the infield of the track is plenty big that you could run tough trucks and monster truck shows. Um, and just to let everybody know, the tough trucks and the monster trucks, along with the mud bogs and the, the mud drags and stuff like that that was going on, were the route of that show it's been there since day one and this is the first year that they have they are not doing the, the 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 tough trucks and the monster trucks so with that being said the boycott started going around and started you know bad mouthing them and stuff like that so what my opinion is if you if you really want your voice to be heard you've got to go to the show and 
voice your opinion while you're there. They do have a suggestion box where you do put your suggestions inside or how you critique the show. And you could say, bring back the monster trucks. Bring back the tough trucks. Because they were the root of the, sh the, of the show. Um, I cover a lot of the, the show and shine field and the aftermarket boots that are there at the show. And I know another YouTuber, Midnight Madness 4x4, who covers a lot of the monster truck and the tough truck competitions. And he throws in some mud bog in there. So run over to his channel and check that out. And you'll see all the, the tough truck competitions. Another reason why uh, the promoter said that uh, they might have cut the, the monster truck clip because of the suspender or the spectators was not there like it has been in the past. Well, from me going from then to now, every Saturday at their big monster truck show and tough truck show, the stands were packed. So I don't think the spectators was the issue on lack of, of um, people watching the show. They had people lined up on the outside of the fences. There was times where you couldn't even get a seat in the, in the grandstands. So you stood along the fence, and sometimes alongside the fence, we were two, three deep. So this, as far as the spectators not being there, I don't think that's true. Because I think that a lot of your people that come to that show is to see the monster trucks and the tough trucks and see what goes on there. So my opinion is that if you want to boycott the show, go to the show, voice your opinion, and suggest in the suggestion box... Bring back the monster trucks, bring back the tough trucks, bring back the root of the show. Because this year, the new promoters, Bonnier, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right if I am, or if I'm not, I'm, I apologize, have started to change a little bit more. And sometimes change might be good, um, along, especially what, what's been going on in the last couple of years with the pandemic and the Rona. So things, maybe the drivers weren't there to to come. They weren't having a nice turnout of drivers showing up. Last year, there was only six six monster trucks there. In years past, there'd be 10 to 12. So we really don't know what the, the cause of them not having it is. Maybe it will come out here in the future. But all I know is by us going to the show and putting in our suggestions to bring back the monster trucks and the tough trucks contest, we as a community can make that difference. By sticking together, and hopefully we could get something done. New to this year's show, I've been checking it out, has been uh, Blackberry Smoke. It's a southern rock band that they're bringing in. I believe they're going to play on Saturday after uh, the Mega Trucks or sometime during the Mega Trucks. I have not seen uh, the, the scheduling for the show or what's going on and stuff like that. So that's just, just my opinion as far as what's going on with the truck show and, and how I feel about it. And I'm going, and the, the crew's going to be there. I don't know if the project vehicle will be ready for, for Bloomsburg yet or not, but we are trying to get it down there. You guys will just have to look for us and find out if we made it. I'm hoping this video helps all you guys out. Hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And if we didn't win your subscription on this video, well, maybe we will on the next one. Because I will be down at the show, covering the show like I always do. And I'm sure Midnight Madness 4x4 will be down there covering some of the races. I'll have to get in contact with him on that. Well, till next time, I'm Joe. Driving trucks and hunting bucks is how I roll with Wicked Fabs.